Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm going to do a um, kind of an unboxing, unwrapping of a new pH tester I bought. It's the um, Apera Instruments AI209 pH20 value waterproof pH pocket tester. And it was in a bubble envelope. I already took it out, but it comes in a little carrying case. So, um, Basically, the uh, reason I bought it, I got it on Amazon, it was around $48, and um, I've been using this Blue Labs pen, and uh, it worked really well when it worked. Uh, I got it about two years ago, and just recently I tried to calibrate it, and it's giving me an error, and I did all the things you're supposed to do, soak it in the storage solution overnight, uh, cleaned it, cleaned the probe and everything. I contacted their support, and they basically told me that after a certain time the probes just wear out and these are not replaceable probes so they um when it stops working and we've tried everything pretty much just have to these are basically disposable but they're fairly expensive um, i think these like cheapest you can get them is around eighty dollars but i know they sell well over a hundred um, so i was looking at the apera um, ph tester and had a lot of good reviews on Amazon and this is uh, basically kind of their equivalent I think a disposable pocket tester uh, it's much cheaper uh, but they actually for about what I paid for this you can get a version of the Apera tester that has uh, replaceable probes so um, I started to get that but I was looking at the extra cost and then the cost of the probes, um, I could probably go through like two to three, between two and three of these um, for the same price. So I think I just want to see how long this one lasts. Um, if I get a couple years out of it, that's that's fine. It's more than I got out of the the Blue Lab pen. So um, anyway, so I'm go ahead and um, get a closer look at this. We'll un unveil it, take a look at it. So I'll go ahead and I like how it comes in a little, little plastic case. So we've got the tester. It's like the calibration solutions, the seven, the four, it's a little lanyard. There's a a little pouch here for your documentation. Um, sorry, it's a little doggy here in the background. Okay, um, I need to read through this. This is a little laminated card, it's kind of neat. Some reference information. How to install the batteries. Yeah, it takes. Um, I'm not sure if they come with it or not. Um, I think. Okay, yeah, it has four batteries installed already. I think they're like either AAA. I think they're AAA batteries. So here's the instruction manual. So you can do up to a three-point calibration. Typically, what I've done, I think this is what this comes with the two, uh, seven and four. So you would calibrate at seven and then four, I believe. Um, there's some instructions on that there. And I believe you would store this with a storage solution. I'm not sure if it comes with that or if it has you re use one of the... I've got some of the, the KCI, KCL solution already that I have with the Blue Lab. But it gives you a fill line so you would store your probe and whatever solution you use. I need to read the instructions and see what I'm supposed to do with it. 
take a quick look at that and um, we'll go ahead and calibrate it, give it a little test. Here's my um, solution in the air garden, it's master blend. Normally it's a little lower than that, but I've been just topping this off, so I imagine this solution needs to be changed out. That's reading a little high, 6.9. This is just my regular master, ben master blend. It hasn't been used. That's 5.9. That's that's what I normally get with my tap water, with my master blend mix, which is which I don't even adjust it. Um, I mean that's that's fine for me. But uh, you can, as you can see, if it sits there a while and you add to it, topped it off, the pH goes up. It, you know, with the pH imbalance, if you don't refresh your nutrients, it's kind of hard to do this one-handed. This is my Aragorn Bounty. Yes, I'm getting six in the Bounty. And that's about right because I just changed this out with fresh nutrients. Um, about five, five days ago, so it's just going up a little. There's my, my plant. So, yeah, so it looks, um, Pretty accurate. It's, I mean, it's showing results that I expect. Um, I'll keep using it and I'll provide updates on if I have any problems with it. But um, I'll put a link to where I got this in the description. It looks like a pretty good value for, for the money. Um, anyway, I hope you like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.